what's happening guys? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Days Gone. I want you to stop and just enjoy the scenery one last time. And yes, I mentioned the scenery a lot. I just, I love this game. I love its location. Enjoy the beautifulness of the map. We have trees, grass, Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. Pretty soon, this will all be bathed caked, soaked in blood. <laughs> because we made last time a fertilizer bomb using a dump truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, let me say that again, hold up. Let it sink in. We took a truck, armored it, and then filled it with fertilizer. This is going to be like the 4th of July on steroids. It's going to be am <laughs> amazing. And on top of that, I will finally be done with Schizo once and for all. This man has ruined so much. Out of everybody in this game, even the Freakers, Schizo is my biggest thorn. Like, he's a huge thorn on my side and it's starting to hurt. He is the wedgie in my life that needs to go away. But regardless, today, that is all going to happen. And I cannot wait. Um, so we actually have three missions down here, part of the uh, race against time. And as you can see, the icon is in fact a dump truck, <laughs> a most explosive dump truck indeed. And uh, I don't exactly know what we're doing. Locate the camp, locate the camp, locate the camp. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna be locating a few camps. It's a little boring, but honestly, I don't want the game to end. I think we're actually probably, um, oh, hello there, Mr. Zombie. Hanging loose, I see. I think this may be the final episode, which is sad. I have thoroughly enjoyed this game, but listen, if it does happen to be the last episode, leave a comment down below. I will still grind the game out and do side missions and all of that, if that's what you guys want. Let me just fill up and get a little gas. Yeah. Or as the rest of the world says, petrol. Yeah. Drink up, motorcycle. Quench your thirst. What's that? Am I thirsty? I don't like gas, I like blood. I'm thirsty for blood and I'm about to get a stomach full of it. Doesn't sound very savory. Okay, so I have a far ride and uh, I'm gonna go there and be right back. And here we are, camp number one. Knock, knock, anybody home? It's your boy Deacon and I'm here to take some blood. Goddamn militia. Donations, <sighs> obviously. Kill every one of you bastards. I mean, not donations. Like squad. Uh, you gotta be careful. I'm gonna forcibly take your blood. You gotta be careful. Oh, They're Deacon. De Deacon. Yeah, Stop trying shit. to be modest. To the side. Oh, 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 that's a lot of them and they're all armored. Okay, well this is not going to be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Hello, boys. Lovely day for a bullet in the face, wouldn't you say? Come here, armor boy. Mm. Okay, this gun is not anywhere near as good as my 50 cal. It's good for hordes, but not good for taking down armored people. Oh! Who just shotgun me in the face? Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Listen, bruv, I need you to calm down. Also, you're, you're kind of blind. Oh, shit. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, they can shoot through that. I am so stupid. I mean, it would stand to reason, right? That you could shoot through very thin boards of wood. I think it does, but I don't have too much logic. All right, you piss me off. You know what? Come here, come here. Penis shot. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Of course, I can't shoot through the wood because that, that makes sense, right? Logic, you gotta love it. I'm in the grass. You don't see me. I'm invisible. Yeah. I must be gone. I think I left. Look at him. Oh, I'm gonna hide behind the thin boards of wood. That'll protect me against giant bullets. Oh, I wish I had my sniper. I could do a beautiful two tap right now. Uh, you know what? Let's break out the little SMG. I like to call it the little chode. It may be small, but it does a lot of work. Why well, hello there, sir. This thing is a beast. I don't care how small it is. It just does work. Look at it go. Come on, peekaboo. You just take your helmet off and then get an easy headshot. Little chode coming in clutch. Beautiful. Um, I, I, again, I don't exactly know why we're here. We have the fertilizer, at least I think so. Oh wait, maybe we don't have the fertilizer. No, we got the fertilizer. I, I distinctly remember loading up the truck with fertilizer, so 
why am I hitting up all the outposts? And also, why do they even have an outpost? Three of them, to be specific. Why would the militia not group all their guys together and then storm in on all the camps up north? Seems more logical. Go big or go home, that's my motto. All right, uh, let me loot up all of these guys and then I'll see if I can find anything around here useful. And then I guess we just take out the other camps. Again, I don't know why we're doing this, but if it gets me a little closer to killing Schizo, I will gladly do it. Okay, here we are, camp number two. This time, let's go in and uh, get a little personal. Basically, I don't wanna lose uh, all of my meds just trying to take down a couple of guys because they're actually armored. Instead, let's go in the stealthy way and play some baseball. Try and hit a home run on someone's front teeth or their molars, whichever one, militia. it's fine by me. Goddamn militia. Oh, another squad, damn it. Wow, you guys saw someone. are blind. Oh, no, he saw someone. Yeah, come here. Right. They're shooting? Oh, wow, okay, Deacon, you need to go on a diet. They spotted you in tall grass. These guys are perceptive. Very perceptive. Hello there, sir. It's time to lose some weight by beating the flesh off your face. Guys, why are you shooting? For all you know, I'm the chiropractor. I'm here to help you with your spine alignment, you know? You guys have been working so hard lately. Your back really needs a little relaxation. And the best way to loosen up, everybody knows, is with the baseball bat covered in gears and spikes, clearly. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm about to kill you. Hello there, sir. Oh my God, these guys are quick. Mm. That's four of nine. I am out of meds. I need something ASAP. Okay, bandages, that's better than nothing, but <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot more than that. God, why did I leave my sniper rifle back at the base? Or rather in the locker? Someone should have said something. This isn't gonna cut it. The, uh, the LMG is good for zombies, but not for people. Well, I mean, armored people. <laughs> Which, how does that even make sense? Oh, this guy has no clue. Let's sneak up and go for the knife attack. Oh, my man is Bruce Lee. Let's do this. Those reflexes. Did you seriously just try and boot me in the chin? You amateur. Oh, and it just turned daylight suddenly. Bop! There we go. Boom! Home run. And there's one more guy left. I think he may be upstairs. Oh, actually, there's way more than one more guy. Oh, I can't do math. Hello? Uh, oh, you're inside. Oh, isn't that cute? You guys are cowards. You don't want to come out and face the music? I thoroughly understand. I wouldn't want my face peeled off with the baseball bat either. It does look painful. And based on how much these guys are screaming, I think it actually is. How the hell do I get up there? Um, You guys could just come out and make my life a lot easier. I would appreciate it. And you would be cool in my book, which everybody knows my book is pretty cool to be cool in. It, it, something like that. No? Well, you know what? I'll just come in here and force you out. How you like that? This is too easy. You guys are really gonna try that, huh? Just camp the stairs. <laughs> what, you thought I wouldn't come through the open window? You guys are naive. Armored, yes, but very naive. Okay. Um. So that's two camps down. We have one more to go. Is that a mine? Proximity mine? Oh, uh, hold up. I didn't realize there were mines in this game. Traps maybe, but mines? Oh, that is so wicked. I still say I'm slightly disappointed in some of the weapons in this game. I mean, I would understand if it wasn't a zombie apocalypse or the zombie apocalypse had just broken out and everybody was using basic weapons you could buy at a store, like, you know, dick sporting goods or something like that, but I mean, no modified weapons at all. No wasteland style weapons. That doesn't make much sense. Where are the flamethrowers? Your boy wants to roast somebody's weenie with a flamethrower. It's not gonna happen. Maybe in a future DLC, but uh, either way, let me loot up and wow. That is the weirdest yoga pose I have ever seen. Let me loot up and then we'll go to camp number three. Okay, here we are. The third and final militia camp. Hello boys. I wish I had my sniper rifle. This would be a lot easier. 
a militia. Damn it. I saw someone. More of them. Ah, is that all you got? Okay, let's try and actually use a little bit of stealth. I don't think they saw me, so... Attach my suppressor. Oh, never mind. He saw me. Oh, I have my flashlight on. No wonder. I would make the worst assassin. Good thing I actually just go in, guns blazing, making tons of noise. Because I am not built to be an assassin. Oh! Damn! Now that's what I call a uh, snip snip of the old penis skin gone wrong. Oh, God, my aim. What is my aim? Beautiful. And you, goodbye. And you? I am so sorry about the lingering pain. Normally, I'm more humane. Oh, shit. No, those are binoculars. Don't do that, beastie. What is happening? I, I'm just going crazy. My aim is all over the place. I'm shooting people's knees instead of their head. Oh, I'm just not a good soldier. And you? Goodbye. These guys are actually really accurate, which is kind of scary. Because that means my final fight, I'm probably going to die a couple of times. Then again, maybe... Where's the... Oh, no. Freakers. Freakers. Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, reload. reload. Oh, you got it, man. You got it. I have faith. The zombies aren't going to eat your face off. You're fine. You're a hardened militia soldier. The colonel's taught you well. Yeah, shoot it. Shoot his chest. Oh, there's another one. I think he just swiped his face That's off. The last of and he's dead. Well, that was fun to watch. Oh, you want to come over here and get a piece of this? No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Anyone else? Oh, goodbye. Hey, Ricky. It's done. Thank God. All right, I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Yeah, you do that. Uh oh. I think there's a horde down there. No. Okay, it's a, it's a little group of stragglers, not the same thing. Whew. It's about to say, if I have to take on another horde, I would cry. Uh, okay, we have more supplies. That gotcha. is useful. Don't ride us. We're having fun. I'm not riding anywhere. You're the one that's the coward. Bye. <laughs> I guess he just rides around the map, shooting at random people, and then yelling, don't ride off, as they just stand there watching him. Uh oh, it looks like we have a little horde down here. Why, hello, hello. I'm not gonna mess with you guys. Just uh, continue walking. Go into your massive family reunion. Okay, I'm gonna loot up around here because I need the supplies. Obviously, these soldiers are getting more and more challenging to take down, which is not good. And um, then we have a mission up here with Cope, uh, part of the protecting the weak storyline. We haven't done anything with Copeland in a long ass time, so I don't know why we have to do something for him now. Maybe this has something to do with saving Sarah. I'm not sure, but regardless, let me loot up and then um, I'm gonna smash this crackhead's head in. So now he's actually a crackhead. <laughs> and then I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, Copeland's camp. Now, what could be so important, Copeland, that you felt the need to drag me away from a very important mission of revenge? Oh, what, you have a new addition to your glorified treehouse? Ha, ah, I'm so excited. Look at that. You call that a base? Embarrassing. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've gotta get some men together, go after them. Look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Oh, you don't tell people how to live their lives, what but yet you have your own radio... Like, not podcast, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Radio talk show? It's not even really a talk show. It's you rambling like a madman over the radio, that's what it is. A rambling madman. Um, and why do I care about Manny? I don't even know who Manny is. <laughs> He's a minor insignificant character that I met in the beginning of the game. In fact, now that I think about it, I really don't even know that much about any of the characters in this John. game. I mean, Bacon. obviously there's Addy, Ricky, Booze Man, and then Iron Mike, and obviously Schizo. I know those characters, but uh, 
uh, up north. Anything else I can get for you? I really didn't know very many people. Like uh, crusty old grandma, Tucker. <laughs> I know nothing about her. That'll last you. Copeland, I really didn't Nobody do much time. of anything for Cope. And then uh, Manny, I don't care what happens to Manny. I've got more important stuff. Deacon, hey. It's called revenge, hey, and it is my Hope number one trade, priority. Bro. Can everyone stop saying my name? God damn. What's up, Scarface? Nice treehouse you've got. I hope it can hold back a militia army with RPGs. You're doomed. That's what I'm trying to say. Whatever happened to the girl? What was her name again? Rebecca? Something like that? Wait, hold up. Whatever happened to her? We saved her from the Rippers by saying, run now, run, 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 and then she ran, but we haven't seen her since then, so who knows? I hope she's okay. You know, actually, now that I think about it, the Colonel's really not the brightest of guys. He's got the biggest base out here, so why not join forces with the smaller camps and then create a network where you guys can trade back and forth, have farms, switch out personnel, you've got outposts, you, you could make an entire network, but no, he just wants to go on a crusade to kill people because apparently humans are somehow worse than freakers. Never trust a guy that's got a mustache like he's some type of general from World War II. Okay, we have Manny's bike here, which is not a good sign. Go, I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they set up an ambush on the Sanium. You don't say. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Manny! Come on out! I don't have time for this! Honestly, I don't care what happens to you because I've already got a fantastic mechanic that happens to have some big old boobies. And her name is Ricky. And she's way cooler than you. And I also know who she is. So, again, I don't know why I'm out here in the, sh in the shit trying to save Manny when, um... When I already have Ricky. Okay, listen. If any of you come alive and grab me, I am gonna scream and squeal like a pig. I remember this happening once before. Oh my god. Stop! Ah, there it is! <laughs> I'm gonna have to stab you in the throat, sir. Mm. The first time that happened when I started playing this game three months ago, I, I remember screaming a lot. I wasn't expecting that. But now I am a seasoned veteran. After three months of uploading the game when everyone else finished in one month. Or rather two weeks. Or even one week. Hello! Is this the barbecue that's happening? Well, guess what? Barbecue has been ruined. Oh, what the hell? Who's behind me? Grandma? Is that you? It sounds like grandma gargling. Okay, I have no idea where this guy- Ah, there you are, hello! Where did you come from? Finally. Ah. Oh! Well, look at you! You guys are just real clever hiding in trees like that. Okay, so, uh, what am I doing? Oh, oh. Well, somebody shit blood. That's not fun. Follow Manny's tracks. Well, uh, let me just loot up real quick. Hold up. Your boy needs all the supplies he can get. Oh wait, actually this is a perfect opportunity. I think there's freaks attacking. And we've got a dead deer. I'm always down for free meat. The edible type of meat. You know what I'm saying. I know some pervert out there was like, oh, you like meat, huh? Hey, yes! The freaks are my friend. Oh! Oh, that's right. Get up. Get him. Go on. You're resilient. Chase him down. You have failed me. I am disappointed in you, son. You will never amount to anything. You will never be in the zombie Olympics. You're not even my real son. You're a bastard. I didn't want to tell you, but now that you failed and died, I can tell you. You're a bastard child. Boom! Boom! No, actually, you're adopted. Yeah, take that. Only joking. Yeah. 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 Men come! Yes, 
Men are coming. <laughs> oh, this gun is so good. I feel like I really shouldn't have to do any of this. I know for a fact there's more important things to, to be handling right now, especially when I'm trying to um, stop a war. Seems like sort of a minor inconvenience having to deal with all of this. But uh, you know what? I I'm all about the minor inconveniences of life. Boom. Come on. Peekaboo. I have leveled up my focus so much, it's hilarious. It's like I'm a superhero that can manipulate time so I can get the perfect headshot. Or miss all my shots in slow motion, that works too. Yeah! Yeah! You're damn straight! Shot your elbow off! Hey! I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around who knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Probably Ricky. Oh no! Back up. Nice and slow. Don't make us. Manny, Manny, Manny. What have you done, brother? What have you done? We're all dead. You had one job, Manny. Don't step on the tin can. Wait, where did he go? Hello? Giant bear that wants to tear my face off? Somehow the bear being a zombie makes him instantly more powerful. All right, I'm just gonna roll this way. And... Um... Apparently this bear is armored. No, he's not. He's dead. <laughs> Take that, bear! did it! Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's that? That's that nothing. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Mm. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. Like maybe I wasn't with my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. So the question isn't... Why is it like this now? The question is, why wasn't it always like this? Guess I'll be sticking to the camp from now on. It's probably a good idea. Should we tell him? There's not gonna be a camp if the Colonel comes in and does what he wants to do. There's going to be nothing but ashes left behind. Or will there? Who knows? I actually never took the time to figure out what the General ex wanted to do exactly. I mean, he wants to conquer, but... You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. I think Manny's been snorting the good stuff. He's I got those red eyes. <laughs> red eyes, dilated pupils. Mmm. Manny, do you know where the good shit is? I'm starting to think you do, brother. Uh, head to Sawmill, okay. Uh, race against time, head to Sawmill. Oh, all right, wait, does that say Horde? Horde killer. Oh, additional storyline. Wait, does that mean I have to take out a Horde? I feel like last time I saw that, I had to take out a Horde, and it was not fun. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old Sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I 
took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh no. Yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. Mmm. A souped-up Molotov. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just, I'll be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Candles? Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. Yeah. Aw, Ricky cares about us. Ah, the old sawmill. This ought to be easy, right? Yeah, oh, totally. Sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, molotovs, and anything else I can carry. This will be a walk in the park, I'm sure. If the park was full of muggers and rapists, why didn't I put that together? I was like, wait a minute, horde killer? Am I gonna have to kill a horde? This is the sawmill. All right, brother, you killing saw me. From before. Where are you getting the creosote? Uh, you just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big mm -hmm. goddamn horde. Yeah, I'm uh pretty sure I knew that. What, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke, we're gonna get her back. Boozman, no, no, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out. Yeah, don't worry, Boozman. I've taken on my fair share of hordes and only nearly died every time. Um, but in this case, we've got Molotovs. Not a lot of Molotovs, but five, which should be exactly enough to kill three or four zombies. I've also got my traps too, and those come in pretty handy. Wait, where's the horde at? I remember seeing a room full of them, but I can't exactly remember which side. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, this is not gonna be good, boys. You guys ready? You ready? I'm gonna take on a horde. This game insists that I kill hordes. I don't know why, but it's fine. Oh, ho, ho. oh, this is not gonna be fun. Let's throw that there. And then we get the giant sexy Molotov of death out. Yeah, that's right. That's right, get it, boys. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Woo, yeah, baby. Did I even make a dent in the horde? Okay, I made a small dent. A very small dent. I wasted all of my Molotovs. Are you kidding me? I think I might be dead, guys. Oh, yeah, and I definitely don't have enough focus to mow the entire horde down or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, yep. Start chucking mollies. Yep. Okay, that was, uh, that was a mistake. I barely made a dent in the horde with all of those Molotovs. Okay, let's end this. I have a strategy that I've been using. I ran out of all of my goodies, so I've just been kind of going in, picking a few off, they chase me, I run away, they get bored, they come back. Rinse and repeat. So we're almost done, and uh, I can finally get the hell out of here and then deal with real problems named Schizo. Actually, wait, where did the horde go? Hello? Is there a horde in there? Oh, th th there most definitely is a horde in there. Well, greetings and salutations. I am just here to say hello, you know, borrow a cup of sugar, all that neighbor shit. There we go. Oh, this shouldn't be too much harder. Or take too much longer. Oh, okay, yep, all right, now I need to start running. The zombie in the background just casually meditating. Mm. Thank God for focus. Focus has made my life so much easier. Because everybody knows I suck at this game. My aim is not good. Without 
focus, I would have been doomed a long time ago. And also, thank God for LMGs. Mm. The horde has, like, what, one tenth left? Yeah, that's not too bad. Goodbye. And you look a little confused. See, they just get bored so quickly. He's like, ah, nah. Forget all that chasing. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're cracking. You get the uh, base combat special. Boom. Yeah, this horde is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. As a matter of fact, I am more difficult than the horde. What does that even mean? Simple. I've killed myself more times than the horde's killed me. I am a bigger threat to myself than the horde is to me. Hey, buddy, buddy. Have a knife. Who needs your daily iron? Even zombies need their daily iron in the back of the neck. Hey, guys. It's me again. Just here to say hello. You know, not, nothing violent. Just wanted to say hello. And uh, ask if you uh, enjoy seafood. I love seafood. Questionnaire. Yeah. Also, have you paid your taxes? Oh, it's a zombie apocalypse? Oh, that doesn't matter. Everyone has to pay their taxes, including zombies. I pay in camp credits, and you have to pay in human flesh that you've acquired by various means. I don't know what I'm saying. I think this game is making me go crazy. There we go. Might as well just beat the last zombies, am I right? Yeah, come on, boys, bring it on. Fuck. Fuck. Broken jaw. Broken face. Broken jaw. Broken face. Come on. We're almost done. And you. And, oh shit, oh, 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 oh. this guy's slippery. You guys are the last. Notice. Whoa. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh dear. Oh. 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 Hey, stop that. Stop swiping. Oh. This is not Tinder. Okay, now you sound like something that would be off Tinder. Woo! We did it. Success. It only took 30,000 attempts and I died to my own proximity mine a hundred. couple hundred times, but... All right, we've got it. And then now we need to go and, uh, oh, well, a fill truck with that word that I can't say. So yeah, we'll do that. But first I need to loot up because I have absolutely no supplies. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. A little bit. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. <laughs> yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <laughs> I mean, if Booze Man had a machine gun for an arm... Head back to camp, I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, Booze Man... Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? Uh, maybe. <laughs> it is a possibility you're basically driving a huge bomb. A heavy bomb. And let's not forget about all the zombies that would probably jump you, right? Okay. Honestly, Booze Man would be amazing in the field if he had a machine gun arm. Think about it. You give him like a Gatling gun for a hand hey, Deke, you or there? a sword or something. Mm. Hey, Ricky, what's up? There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Deke, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. Do I want to do it? Uh, so what would be the alternative if I don't? We all die? Oh yeah, let me just, t let me, let me choose that option. Clearly that's the better one. Take the moral high ground and then be slaughtered. No thank you. The only morals I have is that self-preservation is my number one priority. Also Ricky and Addy and Booze Man, you get the idea. People I like, I protect them. Everyone else, I don't care. Um, okay, so we need to ride over here and... We're doing it. We're going to attack Wizard Island. <laughs> oh, I swear, if somebody deprives me of the pleasure of putting a bullet in Schizo's face, they're dying. That's my job. 
I have so many things I need to do to Schizo. For all the trouble he's caused? Just scream. Wait, well, oh, what? Huh? Me? Screaming? No, I never scream. Now we're gonna make people scream, you better believe it, but me? No. Maybe a little bit, when the lights are off at night and I hear a ghost under my bed. Or a monster. Whatever. We're gonna go to the place and, and blow the thing up. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, well, uh, will you look at that? The lighting's a little bit different, huh? I wonder if I decided to stop recording and take a two-day vacation from the video I was just recording because I'm totally not a lazy, pathetic slob, right? <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, I was recording and then I decided to pause for two days and uh, now I'm back. But I have the same clothing on, so essentially I never stopped recording. I'm sad, I know, but either way, last time, before I decided to pause, which of course you won't know that because again, same clothing, the video never stopped. We, uh, we have a mission to um, make things go boom with a giant fertilizer bomb crafted from armor, armor, and a dump truck. Which honestly, that sounds amazing. A fireworks display that will end in death and destruction. Which honestly, is it really a fireworks display if somebody hasn't lost a limb? I think not. The only problem I have with our plan is that, um, well, what's gonna happen after I decide to make things go boom? What happens? Do I just rush in during the chaos and murder everyone? Or do we blow up the entire arc and then somehow Sarah survives? I think this is an ill-conceived plan. We really haven't thought too much into the details. Oh, sure. We have a giant bomb, then what? Is it just me and Booze Man? We make something go boom and then go in and kill everyone? What is the protocol? What's the plan? Who knows? I mean, if it were me, instead of making an armored bomb, we would make an armored tank. Take the uh, the dump truck, add machine guns, ride in through the gate, bop, 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 kill everyone. Looks and like then like everything's set. Save yeah. Sarah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. No. Yeah, I want this. No. No. Oh, but there's just one thing. No. I know what's happening here. Oh, our cut. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. Booze man, so help me God, if you do anything stupid, I'm about to be very pissed. Just us. Yep. Just us? Oh, that's a plan. No. What's this silence? We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. I know what's happening here. <sighs> Looks like oh. Ricky's coming after all. So Ricky wants to die too. Nice. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Okay, we have a biker army. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. Iron Mike? For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! The guy that got us into this mess. All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? We need to. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. Okay. All right! Let's do this! What was our plan if these guys weren't going to join? I am so confused. This is the worst plan ever. For Iron Mike. 
Oh yeah, for Iron Mike, the guy that got us into this mess in the first place because he's a giant teddy bear with a soft heart and wouldn't kill Schizo after he betrayed us and then got a bunch of people in the camp killed. That guy, yeah, Iron Mike, mm -hmm, the smartest guy ever. We would not be in this mess if it wasn't for him. And what was the plan if these guys weren't gonna join? I'm sorry, but this is a stupid plan. I have a million different ideas that would work out better than just, oh, we're gonna blow up the gate and then go in there and kind of hope everything works out against the hundreds of malicious soldiers. Totally. Great idea, guys. Mm-hmm. Then again, though, again, I have taken out three hordes, so maybe it's possible, but uh, I doubt it. Hey, booze man! Time to go! We got one shot at this, brother! Whoa, whoa, Damn whoa. It, go. Get your old lady. Seriously? He wants to do it, doesn't he? He's got a death wish. Boozer! Are you kidding me? That was so unnecessary. He jumped at the last second, right? And lost his other arm. We're Gucci. I'll hook you up with two of those weird bionic arms. We'll get you guns. You're good. No way he actually committed suicide to blow up one scrawny wooden gate. I'm actually gonna be very annoyed if he just did that. I get attached to characters quickly, which is not good. And uh, if he really just killed himself to blow up one gate, that is the biggest waste of human life ever. <laughs> he really did it. You ball headed psycho. What a goddamn waste. I knew he had a death wish from the beginning, but seriously? Boozer, why didn't you jump? You should, you should have jumped. Who's gonna take care of the puppy? Boozer. Oh, Boozer, you oh, selfish God damn it, bastard. Boozer. Oh, God damn it. You selfish bastard. I know why he did it. He did it because riding a motorcycle is his entire life and he assumes because he lost an arm he can't ride a bike, so he wants to die. Like he was trying to do from before when he was going to attack a horde and be slaughtered. Boozer, you are so stupid. I can think of a million ways this plan would have been better. Send in commandos in the water. We blow the gate up. And then Boozer drives in the giant dump truck of death, jumps out, boom, all the guards are dead. But no, he decides he wants to drive in a straight line and commit suicide. All right, listen, Deacon, this is on you, buddy. This was the dumbest goddamn plan I have ever seen. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, you're bleeding, are you? Oh, okay. Listen, I just watched my friend blow himself up because he's stupid and pathetic and probably needs therapy, so I'm gonna have to slaughter all of you to make up for it. How you like that, huh? If we could take down a horde single-handedly, but then we need Booze Man to commit suicide just to come you in here and kill a couple kill people? Deacon, every goddamn one of you! I'm sorry, but that is so annoying. I can't even tell you how annoying that is. Hi, guys! Hey, listen, I hate to do this to you, but you're all going to die pathetic deaths because my friend just killed himself. Come on, come on, come Goodbye. On. Schizo. Oh, Schizo! My old very best assistant friend. You want to come out and talk, buddy? Remember Booze Man? Yeah, he just killed himself. I, 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 think, I think I'm going to have to take revenge on you. Penis shot. Goodbye. You know what? In fact, I'm going for all penis shots. Except for the guy that has Kevlar armor. Not advisable. Hey, buddy. Where are you? Wait, wait, is there a guy up there? Nope, that is a tree. I am blind. Mm, this gun is so sexy. I know I don't seem very annoyed, but I kind of knew from the start Booze Man was going to do something stupid. He's been trying to get himself killed pretty much since the beginning of the game. 
And I would Sarah, understand. Sarah. I gotta get to Sarah. I would understand sacrificing yourself to save a friend, but to blow up a measly gate made of twigs is just such a waste of human life. A heavy howl, goddammit. And now we have an orphaned puppy. You're not gonna stop me. Come on, you son of a bitch. All right, come here, armored bitch boy. Mm, this gun is so good. All right, you, sit your ass down. Ark, I gotta get to the Ark. Where are the motorcycle riders at? Where are my soldiers? I'm in here alone. I thought, oh wait, they said they were gonna be on the south side, right? Yeah, they're down here. I said, I, you know what? I'm not gonna harp on it any longer. Booze man psycho, he just blew himself up so I could go in through a gate. We could have planted C4, blown the gate up, and I would have been able to come in like I was doing from before, but whatever. Oh! Booze man? Maybe he survived. Is that you, Booze man? It's sealed! Come on, get to the upper case! Move it! Go! Get up there and start setting charges! I say go, goddammit, go! You got that? Now go! So he just came in and took over the camp. That's what happened. Schizo. Son of a bitch, Schizo. I'm coming, Schizo. Oh, well, now we gotta do it the hard way. Oh, I like the hard way. Gotta get to the top of the car. Schizo, Schizo, my old friend. Oh, I gotta find a way past these guys. Find a way past them? Oh, no. Shit, shit, shit. We don't find a way past them, we find a way through them. Bullets. Schizo, my old friend, listen, we are going to have so much fun together. The endless amounts of options we have. I don't even know where to begin. Do I peel your skin off? Do I rip out your toenails? Do I boil you in lava? That's not possible, but I mean, we'll boil you in something. Piss, I'll collect all the piss and boil you in piss. That is a terrible, humiliating way to go. Okay, so I very quickly went back and got my 50 cal sniper rifle, uh, mainly because it's a beast, and I really don't want to try and use a massive LMG that I have to spray and pray to get kills when I've got this, and it is a disgusting gun. Observe. We have Sniper Boy up here, and come on, up here. Sniper, I gotta be on the uh, tower. Now see, that wasn't a reverse mohawk, that was a, you got your teeth shot out through the back of your neck using a 50 cal sniper. The dental bill for that is quite expensive. But again, how are we going to kill Schizo? Do I roast him over an open flame? Do I fillet him alive? Do I boil him in acid? I mean, there's so many juicy options. And then we have the colonel to consider. Uh, his dumbass got all of this started. Oh my God. Oh my God. This thing is amazing. It's beautiful. I love you so much, Sniper Rifle. You know what's ironic is I'm using the guns you guys gave me to kill you. <laughs> and I didn't just walk in and take the guns and they weren't given to me free because I was part of the militia. I earned them, rightfully so. I took out a horde. I made it possible for, uh, I always forget his name. The guy, Weaver. There we go, Weaver, haha. <laughs> ah, oh, I have a hard time with names. I made it possible for Weaver to create his crazy Napalm Molotov. I took out a horde. I did missions for you guys. I saved lives. I was a bounty hunter. And the first time a crazy guy comes in named Schizo or Sikorsky or whatever dumb name he came up with, and he's screaming hellfire, damnation, and propaganda, the Colonel snaps. The Colonel is the worst judge of character I've ever seen. Who are you gonna believe? Some crazy guy that rides in out of nowhere, looking like some DJ wannabe Chicago gangster, talking like an idiot, or me, Deacon St. Freaking John, that was able to save this area from who knows what. I mean, I, I took out a horde. I did a lot of good things for this place. And the first time some guy rides in looking like Schizo, the most punchable man on earth, the Colonel sides with him and then makes him Almost like his there. sidekick. 
Oh, it was even gonna shoot going? Sarah in the face. Ass, <laughs> ass shot. I gotta stop. I like dubbing all of my kills. We've got ass shot, rib shot, chest shot, penis shot. I mean, it's like a game of tennis. Tennis isn't fun unless everybody's yelling for some weird reason. You can't just hit the ball. You have to hit the ball and make noise. And I can't just shoot these guys. I have to shoot them in clever, fun ways. Oh yes, more ammo, beautiful. You know, I kind of feel bad for you guys because you, you could just overrun the camp and, and kill the Colonel and Schizo and then not have to die. But you're blindly loyal to someone that has a pedophile mustache and believes he's a story in the Bible. Not that there's anything wrong with the Bible, but I mean, come on. This is definitely not the Ark and you're not trying to save the world. I mean, there's a lot of people trying to save the world, but I don't think the Colonel is gonna be the one to do it, especially when he has such bad choice in people to trust. He trusted a junkie to guard the only doctor we had. I mean, how stupid do you have to be? <laughs> and then he puts Schizo in charge of the, of the camp, of all things. A guy like Schizo with the punchable face, I don't get it, man, but whatever. Also, where's my team at? I thought I was supposed to have a military group of motorcycle riders, but- Ricky, can you hear me? Oh wait, hold up. Dick, we got him. We, we, we got him, Dick, Dick. Got who? Ricky, Ricky. Oh, give him hell, Ricky. Burn him to the ground. You got Schizo? Who did you get? I don't think those are my guys down there. They look like bad guys. Listen, if anybody deprives me of the pleasure of killing Schizo and the Colonel, you are going to die an equal death. Just know that. I lost my best friend. I think in return, I can have the pleasure of killing Schizo very slowly over an open flame and oh, roasting his testicles. Oh, finally. Only fair. Hang on, Sarah. Snipers, damn it. You guys are so stupid. Why are you fighting me? You could just kill the colonel and take the whole camp over. Okay, wow, these guys are actually doing a lot of damage. Time to burn. Time to burn. <laughs> you know you're not actually doing anything, right? You're just shooting flames in the air. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm really scared of the ball of fire that's a mile away from my face. Oh. Yeah, you, you get him, buddy. Oh wait, can I shoot his backpack? Yup. Just about to say, can I shoot his flaming backpack? I think I can. Well, it's flaming now. Before it was just a lot of fuel, but you get the idea. You guys really aren't soldiers, are you? You truly are a bunch of ragtag, pathetic losers that have been grouped together and given Kevlar armor and weapons. Oh, how pathetic. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Hurry it up already. Fuck you, you want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it, you hear that? Uh, hurry up. There, it's good to go. Damn, damn you are that? fat. Enough. Let's get back to the Colonel, come on. Well, I know who's been eating all the food. Thick boy over here with multiple chins. Captain Sarkozy, reporting in. Sarkozy. Great name, Schizo. How many explosives did you say? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all. What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's, it's three. Three, sir. Okay, okay. I'm going down to get the detonator from Weaver. You hold the Weaver. cave entrance. You got that? No one gets down here. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. No one gets down. And stay off this goddamn channel. It might have been compromised. Really? I wonder if it has. <laughs> Schizo. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three explosives. Oh, I gotta find them. So, wait a minute. Three explosives? What's your plan? You're gonna blow the Ark up? The Colonel's okay with that? This guy's crazy. He built up this giant militia camp and he's gonna blow it up the first time someone comes in? Okay, then. You're not the brightest guy on Earth. Sarah. Oh, Matt is going to be equally roasted over that fire. We are going to be serving up some schizo for dinner tonight. Oh, Colonel's Bible looks pretty well read. Mmm. 
So he knows how to read a Bible cover to cover, but he doesn't know how to judge character and read people. Incredible. I would never trust someone with a punchable face to run my entire camp. He just came in. Schizo is literally fresh off the train from Idiotville. And this guy's just like, oh yeah, the Colonel's like, oh yeah, come on in, take over my entire camp. Plant explosives and blow everything up, hi. You are so stupid, I feel bad for shooting you. In the penis. But it's gotta be done. You guys are blindly loyal to a moron. And nothing is, oh my God, I shot his arm off. I am so sorry, but you're dead, so I guess you can't feel it. But uh, <laughs> there's his arm. Nothing is going to stand in the way of me and Schizo having fun together. Well, I'm gonna have the fun. Schizo's gonna be crying. There. Okay, goddammit. Where's the others? Again, what's their plan? I'm coming, Schizo. Wait for me. I don't get it. They're gonna blow the Ark up? Oh, hello there. Goodbye. Oh, you are so stupid. I really do feel bad for you guys. I mean, you're you're not actually militia material at all. You're just a bunch of crackheads in Kevlar armor. Schizo! Come on, buddy boy, we have to play a game. Jesus. It's a very fun game. I wish I had like a maniacal laugh so I could be like the Joker, just all psycho and crazy, but uh, I, I can't, so. Gotcha. You're just gonna have to settle for insanity without the maniacal laughing. I love how they yell their plans out so I can hear them ahead of time. <laughs> Hello? Anyone down here? Oh, hi. Goodbye. Butt shot. Oh, no, that was a leg shot. Knee shot. Mm. You are never walking again. Oh, ammo? Fantastic. Thank you. Mm. I don't know how someone could die from being shot in the elbow, but I am pleasantly surprised. Sarah, you down here? Don't worry, baby girl, I am gonna break you out of this hellhole. Oh, hello, goodbye. Again, the irony of me using a weapon I purchased from them from doing lots of runs to kill everyone. It's awesome, I love it. It's justice, sweet justice. Okay, I think I can actually drop down here. Can I? Okay. I can. Okay, here's the second one. So they are. They're planting bombs. They want to bring the whole arc down. There. Okay, that should do it. One more. Gotta find the last one. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Almost there, Schizo. Almost there. Maybe Schizo's just taken over the camp. Maybe the Colonel has nothing to do with this. Well, he did want to ride out and conquer all the camps up north, but as far as blowing up his own arc, maybe that's something he didn't actually plan. Maybe that's Schizo's thing. I don't know. Here it is. Careful, careful. Got it. Get to the Colonel's chamber. That's chambers. it. Sorry, you're not blowing up shit today, Schizo. Not today. Wow, I've got to say, I am disappointed. You guys are cowards. You guys are truly pathetic cowards. A bunch of dudes on motorcycles with cheap AKs rode in and your first instinct is to blow the camp up? Seriously? Shots fired. You, you, you probably heard me throughout the entire cave. I've been killing everyone. Oh, hello. Mm. God, I love this sniper rifle. Holy shit. It's so good. Uh, hopefully they don't hurt Weaver. Weaver is the only other person I think I like in this game. <laughs> Obviously Ricky and uh, Addy. Is that really it? I lost Booze Man, Ricky and Addy, and then uh, maybe Weaver and then Sarah. So I've got four people left in the game I care about. Oh, damn. My list of friends is starting to dwindle down. Oh, Curry, obviously. Oh, penis shot. Oh, maybe Curry can come back and take over the Ark. Change the name, that would be the first thing. Change the name. 
Weaver! Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Oh, you follow orders. That's Weaver, a first. Where's the goddamn detonator? Give it oh, to me. no. I don't know what you're talking about. Skizzle, you better let him go. Don't tell me I have to kill him like this. Let's go for the helmet. That had to have broken his neck. No way. Getting hit in the head with a 50 cal? That didn't kill him? Listen, if it were me and I got hit in the head with a 50 caliber sniper round, even if I had Kevlar armor on, I think that would break my neck just a little bit. Weaver, Weave Man, get the Weaver, hell out of here, bro. Get the hell out of here. Go on, go. I've got some people in the North Gate. Go. Okay. Here Come on, go. Schizo. You piece of human garbage. You one stubborn son of a bitch. You know that? I heard what you did, killing all those rippers. <laughs> oh yeah, you drowned them like they was a bunch of fucking rats. Yeah, you so? Did the world is solid. I bet you that Iron Mike didn't see it that way. Did he? Yeah, what you do? I, I didn't want to kill that old man. I didn't. I want to, D. But he gave me no fucking choice. I tried to make him see reason, but he just fucking wouldn't. So you killed him, huh? Mike, he'll be real bad. Huh? Follow me all the way back here. You came back here for her. Huh? Didn't you? Oh, yeah, you came back for your girl. <laughs> oh, well, I got bad news for you, Deacon St. John. Half the crew broke you out. The crew didn't feel too happy about that. No, sir. He broke her like a fucking egg. He cracked her like an egg. Oh, he better not have. If anything, anything happens to Sarah, I will string you up by your thumbs and allow the crows to eat your nipples off and your flesh. I will boil you in piss. I will rip your toenails out and, and then do, oh shit, something. Ow, that hurt. So wait a minute, he killed Iron Mike? Schizo! You piece of human shit! Now! How big of a dick do you have to be? Iron Mike lets you go. He saved your life. I was gonna string you up and allow the freakers to eat your face off. And then after all that, you kill Iron Mike? Oh, I cannot wait. I'm gonna fillet you alive like a fish. That's exactly what's gonna happen. No, I'm gonna boil you like a lobster. I hope you're ready, Schizo. You, you have not experienced any sort of pain compared to what I'm going to do. Consider me to be like the KGB. I've got methods that are insane. No, better yet, it's like the, um, I can't remember what the uh, the period of time was, but they had all of the torture devices they used to crack people, the Spanish Inquisition. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I am gonna put you in one of those devices and have so much fun. It's gonna be a show, a show of death and pain. Come here, Schizo, you piece of garbage. Backstabbing everyone you've ever cared about. Oh, shit! Okay, all right then. You want to play like that, huh? Son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. You got that? Okay, that might be fun. Choking him slowly, just before he dies, we give him some air and then continue the cycle. You know no. death is coming, right? No. Oh, it is. It's coming, and it is gonna be so juicy. You're a terrible shot. You know that. Damn you. Die, goddammit! I'm not gonna die. You're gonna die. In fact, I'm gonna shove your underwear down your throat and watch you slowly suffer. Hit him with the roll. Mm, yeah! Come here, Schizo! Really, Deacon? Seriously? Oh. Stab him! In the leg! Uh, let's castrate him right now! No! Not like that! You know something, Schizo? There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to do that. You want to know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. 
No! Why would you? You gave him the easy way out! That's not closure. He didn't even get to say anything. What's the fun in killing a dick like that if he doesn't beg for his life? Seriously? After everything he's done? You remember the burn on your arm? All of you, I know what's happening out there. Out there, outside the ark. But it's out there. We are safe in here. Nothing can touch us. Really? <laughs> God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. You want to make a little bet on that? Safe in this place. Mm. So you think being in a little cave is going to save you from the wrath of Deacon St. John? I don't think so. What a bummer. Why did we kill him so fast? He had so much pain coming his way. We could have covered his body, the core part of his body and his head, and then left his arms and legs dangling for the freaks to tear off. We could have had so much fun. But instead you cut his throat? I guess we have more important things to deal with, like saving know. Sarah. When or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something. A, a month ago, maybe, I, I felt something. Fear? I hadn't felt in a long time, and um, Here. and I know that a lot of you might have might have felt the same way, and I I think that if we just hello, Deacon, I'll have your side on. Does he know? Sit. Do you want to reason now? How do you reason with a crazy guy? It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Yeah, totally, Sarah, bro. Would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? I'd love some tea. The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> that doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. Me, huh? You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> oh, you're dead now, old man. Some strong tea. The poison we got. Oh, Sarah, you crafty bitch. She did it. Okay. Let's go. Don't drink the tea, guys. It will do things to you. The we collected the poison, remember, from one of the other episodes? She used it to kill the colonel. How did you not taste that? Well, yeah, I, th I think we've officially taken out all the bad guys. Carlos, the Colonel, and Schizo. And none of them I got the, the, the pleasure of torturing. Please. It's kind of annoying. She didn't get to talk to him. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey, 
Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> She's a doctor holding a gun. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where's Boozer? Ricky, I need some help over here. The North Gate. The South Gate. Boo. Ricky. Yeah. Poor Boozer. What an idiot, man. What do you need help with? We should have strung Skizzo hey. up by his stuff. Hope you save some for me. What? Boozer. He jumped! No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you were... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, Hell no, yes! I the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now that was a ride. <laughs> oh, thank God, dude. I would have been so annoyed. Why? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Just a little bit. Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. What? Well, kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than Ricky, Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy he's not dead. God, for a minute there, I thought he was actually dead. I mean, why would he, you know what? The reason he said that and then pushed us off the truck is he wanted us to think he was dead. So Deke would have the extra motivation to go in and kill everybody because he does his best work when he's doing it for someone else or for his cause. He went through hell to save Sarah and then he took this place out because he thought he had lost his best friend. Dude, I'm so happy Boozer's not dead. He's my favorite well, character. <sighs> so I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just a batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. Then I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Aw, <laughs> oh, Weaver. He turned out to be a pretty cool guy. Brother, we did it. You did it. Uh, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> what a happy uh, ending. Well, Give him hell, brother. Jack would be proud. We never saw much of Jack. Like any pictures, any flashbacks? At least I don't think so. I mean, it has been three months, so I may have forgotten something along the way. <laughs> you did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but right. yeah. <laughs> well, what's that look? Addy? Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Man. Oh, shit. That's enough. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. Gotcha. It's your cue. So <clears throat> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm going to keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. 
We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won the crowd. <laughs> you know, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, to make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, yeah. How are we fight for? Yeah. Preach it, Deke. <laughs> you know, Iron Mike, he, um, he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. Nice. We should have thrown Schizo in there. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw Just all right. Biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. Depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. Ooh. Hopefully to somewhere that's safe and doesn't have any schizos. Man, that was a great ending to the game. The entire time they were building this tension, I was waiting for something terrible to happen. And uh, sure, Iron Mike died, but all the characters I cared about survived, which makes me very happy. I was so scared about Booze Man. He's just, he's had it out for himself the whole time. Thank God he jumped. For a while there, I was really pissed, but no, he made it through. Oh, the only thing I'm annoyed about, like truly annoyed, is that we didn't get to torture Schizo. I know that makes me sound sick, but the dude had it coming. Oh no. Please, no, copyrighted music. Stop, I need my money. I'm gonna skip past this, hold up. Okay, we have completed the story, I believe. Unless there's more. I unlocked a ton of stuff. Uh, Days Gone Complete. Aww. Congratulations on completing the story of Days Gone. Deacon has defeated the militia and reunited with Sarah. Thank goodness. But there uh, is still so much to do. Continue your ride on the broken road. Upgrade your bike. Discover additional Nero locations. By the way, what the hell happened to O'Brien? Uh, complete more storylines and unlock all of the collectibles. Thank you for playing the Days Gone team. Aw, thanks guys. Where's my damn rings? Wait, what? We have another mission? Uh, find your rings. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Okay, so while I'm riding to our new mission, um, let me just quickly tell you what I thought of this game. I loved it so much. This has been by far my favorite series I've ever uploaded to this channel. And probably, if I'm being completely honest, my favorite game I've ever played as far as a story-driven game. They did a fantastic job building up the characters, giving them unique, believable personalities, and what I really appreciate is that even though the story is about a zombie apocalypse, post-collapse of the world, they really didn't focus on the zombies. Hey, John, stop by Diamond Lake when you get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diamond Lake camp, I hear you. St. John out. The game was more about the story of people trying to rebuild and how they are handling the apocalypse, how they're choosing to move forward after the world has essentially collapsed. And not a lot of games would do that. Whenever companies and gaming studios try and make a zombie apocalypse style game or really anything about zombies, they try and oversell it. Nuclear bombs and uh, zombies that just look like giant, bubbly, bleeding monsters. Uh, it, they almost try and make it seem like there's an evil entity at play, like the devil, or Nazi zombies, or you get the idea. They try and make it seem artificial. This is believable. 
The zombies aren't really evil entities possessed by the devil out to destroy the world. They're just animals. Animals that are violent, don't get me wrong, but they did a really good job building the zombies, making them seem believable, animalistic, and uh, again, the story isn't really about the zombies, it's about the people and how they choose to uh, continue with their lives after the apocalypse, which I appreciate. And uh, the villains along the way we met, like the Colonel, Schizo, and Carlos, they did a good job of distinguishing the different types of villains, the different ways people handle uh, the world collapsing. For example, Schizo is a piece of shit dick that's only out for himself. And it doesn't matter to him how many people he kills, how many lives he ruins, who he betrays. Friendship doesn't matter to him. Um, okay, hello zombies. Um, the Colonel, on the other hand, is sort of the opposite. He's using religion as a crutch to accomplish what he wants and disregard, honestly, his own morals he should have. He doesn't care if he kills innocent people and has a holy war against uh, camps around him. As long as he feels like he's following a narrative that he's kind of cooked up himself, he's pretending as though he's a character in the Bible, and there's nothing wrong re with religion, but he's honestly using it as a scapegoat to get away with what he wants. So essentially, he's basically schizo, but he's not willing to admit to himself he's a dick. Now, Carlos, I don't exactly know what Carlos was hoping to accomplish. I think he's just so angry with what happened, he wanted to watch the world burn. And doing PCP and rallying a bunch of crazies around him was his way of doing it. I really don't understand Carlos, but he was psycho. That's all we need to know. Uh, I'm guessing after the world collapsed, he just lost it. He didn't know what he was gonna do. Uh, and then we come to the good characters like Deacon and Booze Man. Uh, they all had their own demons they had to deal with, and they did so. I mean, Deacon just stayed focused on finding his wife the whole time. Booze Man was focused on protecting um, Deacon, I guess. And then when he lost his arm, he sort of wanted to die. But at some point, he had a change of heart and wanted to survive. Maybe because he knew rebuilding the world was possible. But either way, I'm rambling. My point is they did a great job with the characters. Everyone was believable. And um, yeah, overall, I just really loved the game. I connected with the characters. And uh, obviously, there are certain characters I really wanted to hurt. <laughs> Schizo. Yikes! Uh, but yeah, overall, I love this game. Later. Oh yeah, and as for me taking three months to complete this series, I'm sorry about that, but you have to understand, uh, before doing Let's Play series, I really only made shitty videos where I was screaming my lungs out. And that was fine a couple of years ago, but now people don't really want their ears to bleed every time they try and watch a video. So <laughs> I, uh, I've been trying to practice and be more natural in front of the camera. Um, the Rad Brad did not get where he is from yelling his lungs out. Same with Markiplier, same with every other amazing YouTuber, so... I have a lot to learn, but, uh, I use this series as sort of a way to practice and get better, more natural in front of the camera, so... Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this series and you think that, uh, it wasn't too over the top, but... Either way, there are a ton of amazing games coming out, so if you like Let's Plays as much as I do, leave a comment down below and I will definitely be sure to do more Let's Plays in the future because I love Let's Plays. Far more than making little shitty short videos where I yell the whole time. And, uh, oh wait, we're on Wizard Island. Oh, of course. Where's my damn ring? Or rings, rather. When we joined the militia, they took my ring, a uh, ring away, that's hard to say. And they probably did the same for Sarah, so, uh, yeah, we have to pick our ring up. Oh, okay. They keep a box of rings on the floor. Incredible. In a box of tools? That is disrespectful. Uh, here they are. Oh, that's a lot of rings, actually. <laughs> what? What's that? I do, sweetheart. Oh. Aww. Mission complete. I'm never giving up. Aw, that's so sweet. I think that might be it, guys. I think we've 100% of the game. Um... 
One of you guys said to not miss the secret ending. But what secret ending is that? Uh, I don't see anything else on the map. Maybe if I return back to uh, the base camp with Ricky, maybe there'll be more dialogue and another option to do something. Whoa, what the hell happened here? Uh... uh! I don't think that's supposed to be there. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let me write back to the base and see if there's something new. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I don't have any dialogue. Uh, leave a comment down below. How do I get the secret ending? Because I honestly have no idea how you do. But either way, I've enjoyed the series. I love this game. And uh, if you want me to do more Let's Plays in the future, leave a comment down below. And until next time, peace out.